All right, so another example here of finding a limit involving a vector valued function. So here we're going to find the limit as t goes to infinity of sine of t over t times i plus t plus 1 over 3t plus 4 times j plus the natural logarithm of t squared over t cubed times k. All right, so we'll take the limit as t goes to infinity. We've got sine t over t times i plus t plus 1 over 3t plus 4 times j. Plus, I'm going to rewrite this. We can pull that 2 out. So the natural logarithm, or excuse me, 2 times the natural logarithm of t times t to the third times k. Um, and let's see here. What we're going to do is we're just going to look at the limit as t goes to infinity of each one of these. So we'll have the limit as t goes to infinity of sine t over t times i plus the limit as t goes to infinity of t plus 1 over 3t plus 4 times j and then plus the limit as t goes to infinity of 2 ln of t over t cubed times k. All right, so for our first limit, um, as t goes to uh, infinity, well, sine of t is, uh, you know, the limit as t goes to infinity of sine t doesn't exist. Certainly as t gets, lo gets large, um, you know, the denominator will get very big. So what we can do, I think, here is just do a little squeeze theorem, really. So sine of t is going to be between negative 1 and positive 1. Well, that means sine of t over t, again, as t approaches positive infinity, that'll be less than or equal to 1 over t and greater than or equal to negative 1 over t. But now if we take the limit as t goes to infinity of each of the pieces, all right, the limits um, on the ends, well, the limit as t goes to infinity of negative 1 over t, that's going to be 0. The same thing with positive 1 over t. So by the squeeze theorem, that would imply that the limit as t goes to infinity of sine t over t is also 0. All right, so, um, so we know that this limit is all going to be 0. As t goes to infinity here, we get t, t plus 1 over 3t plus 4. Um, it's going to be infinity over infinity. You can use L'Hopital's rule. But again, since the degree of the um, numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, we can take the ratio of the coefficients. So here the coefficient in front of t is 1. The coefficient in front of t in the denominator is 3. So this whole limit's just going to equal 1 third. And then we're left with a limit as t goes to infinity of 2 times the natural logarithm of t over t cubed. Again, this is going to be infinity over infinity. So we could use L'Hopital's rule just to get on the limit part. So we would have 2 times 1 over t divided by 3t to the second power. Well, we can write that as the limit as t goes to infinity. This is going to be 2 thirds times 1 over t to the third. As t goes to infinity, again, the denominator is going to get really large. So this whole limit is going to equal 0. So that limit's also 0. So it says all we're left with is going to be, well, 0 times i plus 1 third times j, plus 0 times k. Or again, we could write that um, in our alternate notation here, 0, 1 over 3, comma 0. That will be uh, the limit of our vector-valued function as t approaches positive infinity.